Good morning, Saints. Happy Sabbath day. Today, uh, until sundown, is the last day of Sabbath. Sabbath started Friday sundown. Sabbath is one of the Ten Commandments. Remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. And it is, you know, they dedicate the Ten Commandments. And the word of the Lord is love for the Father. So, I want to encourage you to seek God about keeping the Sabbath if you have not started on that. Um, today, while I was in prayer, when I was done praying this morning, I heard these words and they leaked off the page. And I just want to share this word with you because I believe God is confirming what we already know. So, we're going to start with uh, verse 18. It says, Little children... It is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming. Do you hear God saying, we are in the last hour, and the Antichrist is coming? He like he's on his way. He says, little children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard, the Antichrist is coming. Even now, many Antichrists have already come, have come, but which we know that it is the last, he said, by which we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that none of them were of us. So this is Paul and, and John and them talking about uh, false prophets and false antichrists that was went out from them so they, they could not be associated with them. And it, so that it would be manifest and made known that they was not a part of them. It says, but you have an anointing from the Holy One. You, all of us right now. It says, you know all things. I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it. And that no lie is of the truth, who is a liar. But he who denies that Jesus is the Christ, he is Antichrist. Who denies the Father and the Son? Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father. Therefore, let him abide in you, which you heard from the beginning. That which you heard from the beginning. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, you also will abide in the sun. Keep the word. That's what God is talking about, this word that you've heard from the beginning. It says, and this is the promise, that he has promised us eternal life. These things have I written to you concerning those who try to deceive you. The Antichrist is going to try to deceive you. But he's going to deny Jesus. And he's saying, and this is how you know that he is indeed Antichrist. He who, who denies Jesus is Antichrist. And he, the Antichrist is going to try to deceive us in this last hour. He said, these things I have written to you concerning those who try to deceive you. But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you. And you do not need that anyone teach you. But as the same anointing that teach. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things and is true and it's not a lie. And just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. Now, little children, abide in him that when he appears, we may have confidence. So the Lord is saying abide in, abide in Jesus because he's coming back. It's just as surely as the Antichrist is coming, Jesus is also coming. It says that now, little children, abide in him, that when he appears, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who practices righteousness is born of him. Back to 18, little children, it is the last hour. As you have heard that the Antichrist is coming. Uh, reason why I wanted to share that with you because God shared it with me. When I read the word, there are certain words that seem to jump off the page in 3D. And 
it's these words definitely jumped off the page in 3d that we are living in the last hours and not only that the antichrist is coming he is indeed coming and so god just wanted to encourage you that you are the you have the holy you have the holy spirit and god got you and that you know the truth you know the truth because you know what the word says it is said therefore let that abide in you which you have heard from the beginning if what you heard from the beginning abides in you that means stays in you lives in you you also will abide in the son and in the father and this is the promise that he has promised us eternal life he says these things i have written to you concerning those who try to deceive you but the anointing which you have received from him abides in you and you do not need that anyone to teach you but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things and is true and is not a lie and just as it has taught you you will abide in him so the lord is just telling you you know the antichrist he'll he'll come he'll try to tell you these things i am god i can do this i am him who come in the flesh blah 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 and jesus was like no i have already t taught you the word i have and no more than that i have filled you with the holy spirit and you don't even need the antichrist you don't need no false prophets you don't need nobody to teach you because the holy spirit will teach you all things and the holy spirit is true and it does not lie and these things i have given unto you that you may abide in the father if you believe uh on those words that you have heard since the beginning then you will abide in the father and you will abide in the son and it, it will be well with you and just to read this last scripture again so it says and now little children abide in him that when he appears we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming if you know that he is righteous you know that everyone who practices righteousness is born of him may the lord add a blessing to the readers and the hearers of this word our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory both now and forevermore in jesus name we pray and we thank you for the sabbath for sabbath was made for man and not man for the sabbath in jesus name we pray O lord god amen